they're all important, each in its different way. But for me, one of the most central chapters is chapter two, the evolving sense of self and others. I think that's an important chapter because it really does try to encompass the first moments when the child's born and the parents or caregivers are interacting with that child and drawing out the person that's there. Again, mind-minded parenting is a consistent theme throughout this chapter because it emphasises through a number of case studies and research studies how the child's sense of self is, is a process, is an ongoing process and the important role of the adults in, in enabling this self to emerge. And then the chapter goes on to look at the ways in which the school can also play a very significant part through educating children in social and emotional aspects of learning and the effect of number of programs where schools are actually trying to help children to come to understand their feelings, to develop empathy for others, to deal with difficult emotions like anger, to understand the perspective of the other, which is a very important developmental task. And finally, that chapter looks at interventions that help children who, for whatever reason, have found it very, very difficult um, emotionally to deal with their relationships. And the chapter looks at nurture groups where actually within the school, um, very specially trained teachers enable the child to revisit the nurturing experiences that usually they would have experienced at a much earlier age and the success of these programs. So this chapter is a very positive one while not shying away from some of the difficult tasks that children face.